But here's the thing. There are many different beliefs about Jesus Christ, right? There are Mormons, there are Jehovah's Witnesses, there are Seventh-day Adventists, there are Baptists, there are Pentecostals. But I just want to talk to you what you have to believe about Jesus to go to heaven. Amen? Amen. Alright. Now the first thing that we have to understand about Jesus and the Gospel, the Bible says in Romans 3.10, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. And what that means is nobody's perfect. Right? I'm not perfect. Are you perfect? No. And the reason that nobody's perfect is because we're sinners. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, what is a sin? Is a sin good or is that bad? Bad, right? For example, I have lied before. Have you lied before? Yeah. Right? So, nobody's perfect. We've all lied. We've all sinned. And God loves us. But God is a righteous God. So there is a punishment for our sin. Now, does anybody know what that punishment is? You can just say it. You don't have to raise your hand. No. Hell, right? So the Bible says the wages of sin is death. And the Bible says there are two deaths. There's a physical death of your body and a spiritual death if you go to hell. Now, can somebody tell me how long does hell last? Is it temporary or forever? Forever. forever right? So you don't want to go to hell, amen? Okay, but here's the bad news. Are you ready for the bad news? Amen? All right. That's what we deserve. Okay, the wages of sin is death. Because we sinned against God, we deserve to go to hell. But do you think that God wants us to go to hell? No, God loves us, right? The Bible says God is not willing that any should perish. God will have all men to be saved and to come into the knowledge of the truth. So the Bible says that God sent Jesus to save us from hell. Now, who is Jesus? Can you tell me who Jesus is? Just say it. You don't have to raise your hand. He's the Son of God. He's the Savior. He's the Messiah. Do you believe that Jesus is God? Yes. Amen? Right? The Bible says there's one God in three persons. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Have you heard of that? Yes. Amen? Yes. Right? So Jesus is God. And Jesus came to earth. He was born to the Virgin Mary. And Jesus lived a sinless life. He never lied. He never murdered. He never stole. He went about performing miracles, but he never sinned in his whole life. But what happened to Jesus? How did he die? What did they do to Jesus? They crucified him, right? The Bible says he was despised and rejected of men, and they nailed him to a cross. And the Bible says on the cross that God the Father in heaven took the sins of the whole world and placed them on Jesus. All of my sins, all of your sins, the sins of the past, the present, and even the future, they were all placed on Jesus. And I'm going to tell you something you might not know, okay? But Jesus loved you so much that after he died on the cross and they buried his body in a tomb, his soul went to hell for three days and three nights to pay for our sins. Have you heard that before? Yes. In Acts 2.31, if you want to look it up later, okay, it says, He seen this before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. But anyway, what happened after three days and three nights? Did he stay in hell? Did he stay in the grave? What happened? He rose from the dead, amen? Amen? Right? He rose from the dead, he showed the nails in his hands, he showed his bleeding side, and then he walked on this earth for 40 days and 40 nights, and then he ascended up to heaven. But even though Jesus did that, the Bible says that most people go to hell. It says, straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. So unfortunately, the honest truth is most people don't go to heaven. But the good news, it's very easy to go to heaven. Okay. Are you ready for the good news? Yes. Do you know John 3.16? Yes. Okay, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only 
begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So the good news is if you want to go to heaven, there's only one thing that you have to do. A lot of people think there are a lot of things that you have to do. They think you have to go to church, which church is good, amen? They think you have to be baptized, which baptism is good, amen? They think you have to repent of your sins or live a good life, which those are good things to do. But the one thing you must do to be saved from hell, to go to heaven, is believe in Jesus. Someone in the Bible asked this question to the Apostle Paul. He said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? And that's a pretty good question, right? What must I do to be saved from hell, to go to heaven? And his answer was this. He said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Now, most people in this room, they would probably say that they believe in Jesus. Amen? Do you believe in Jesus? Okay. But the Bible is specific what it means that when it says believe. You have to believe in something specific. Okay? What the Bible means by believe is it means that you trust in Jesus. Okay? It doesn't mean that you just believe Jesus is real. It doesn't mean that you just believe that he exists. But it means that you're trusting in him to take you to heaven. Because the opposite of trusting in Jesus is trusting in yourself. Do you understand? The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, it says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So once again, this verse says you're saved by faith, but the opposite of faith is works. You're not saved by yourself, and you're not saved by your good works, because that would be trusting in you. Do you understand? So when the Bible says believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, it means to trust in Jesus to take you to heaven, and not your own works of righteousness. Do you understand? Okay. Now this is the really good news of the gospel. Okay, once you believe in Jesus, and once you're saved, once you have trusted in Jesus, Jesus saves you forever. Okay? Jesus said, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So once you believe in Jesus, Jesus saves your soul forever. Now is Jesus alive? No. no right? The Bible says salvation is a gift. Let's say I gave this girl my Bible as a gift. Did she pay for it or did I pay for it? I paid for it, right? So for her, the Bible's free, right? Now I have a question. Who paid for salvation? Did you pay for salvation or did Jesus pay for salvation? Right? So for you, salvation is free. All you have to do is accept it by faith, okay? You want to repeat that word after me? Let's say it three times. Faith. 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 Okay? You're saved by placing your faith in Jesus. And once you've done that, you're saved forever and ever. Now, I want you to understand, I'm not telling you to do bad things, okay? Amen? Amen. I'm not telling you to skip church. Church is good, amen? amen. I'm not telling you to, to do drugs. Drugs are bad, amen? amen? I'm not telling you to drink alcohol. That's bad. I'm not telling you to commit murder. That's bad. I'm not telling you to commit suicide. That's fine. That's bad, right? But what I'm saying is if you believed in Jesus, you would go to heaven. Because the Bible says Jesus Christ made one sacrifice for sins forever. Past sins, present sins, and even your future sins. So if you accept that gift of salvation one time, you're saved forever and ever. Do you understand? Now God would not be happy with you if you're saved and you're doing bad things. Okay? For example, if you're saved and you commit murder, you're probably going to go to jail, right? If you're saved and you drink alcohol, you're going to do stupid things and you're going to mess up your life, amen? But you would still go to heaven when you die because salvation is a free gift. It's not of works. It's not of yourself. It's by faith in what Jesus did. You understand? Amen? 
All right, now I gotta hurry up. I've only got like five minutes left. Okay. Now we understand that Jesus is not a liar, right? Amen. So this is a promise from Jesus. This is the promise that He has promised us. The Bible says, "These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life." So the Bible says in that verse that you can know that you're going to heaven. You can know 100% sure that you're going to heaven if you just believe on the Son of God. Now, who is the Son of God again? What's his name? Jesus. Jesus, right? Do you think anyone else can take you to heaven? No. Do you think I can take you to heaven? Yeah. No. Do you think my church can take you to heaven? No. no. Do you think Allah can take you to heaven? No. no. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father. But by me. Do you believe that? Yes. Amen? Yes. Now, once you believe in Jesus, I have a question. How long does he save you for? Temporary or forever? Forever, right? So let me give you an example, okay? I don't want you to do this, but this is an extreme example, okay? Let's say my friend here again. Okay, what's your name? Alishana. <laughs> Okay, That's, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but Alishana. Let's say she believes in Jesus today, and Jesus saves her soul forever, right now, this very moment. And then she never goes to church, she never reads the Bible, she never gets baptized, she never repents of her sins, she lives a sinful life. But she had believed in Jesus, she had trusted in his salvation. Would she go to hell or heaven? Heaven. She would go to heaven because salvation is free. She would not have many rewards in heaven. And God would punish her in this life. But she would 100% sure go to heaven when she dies. Do you understand? Okay, I've got a harder question. Are you ready? Amen? Amen? Don't be shy. Let's say she believes in Jesus today as a young girl. And she gets saved forever. Not her body, but her soul. Right? And then, let's say when she's about 20 years old, she gets into some real trouble. She commits murder, or God forbid, she even commits suicide. Bad things to do, amen? But, she had trusted in Jesus. Would she go to hell or heaven? I have a question. How many sins did Jesus pay for? Some of them or all of them? So she would still go to heaven. Salvation is free. Jesus paid it all. Amen? Now suicide is bad. But suicide kills your body. Jesus saves your soul. Amen? You understand? You believe that? Okay, good. That's what you have to believe to be saved. The promise is Jesus gives you eternal life. If you think you can lose your salvation, you're not trusting in Jesus. You're trusting in yourself. Okay? Now, one more question. This is the hardest question. Are you ready? Amen? You ready? Amen? Let's say she believes in Jesus today, and she gets saved forever, okay? And then five years later, she's just really down, she's really depressed, and she starts to have some doubts in her faith. She starts to doubt in her faith. But... She had already believed in Jesus. She already got saved. Would she go to hell or heaven? She would still go to heaven. Because salvation is not a process. Jesus said it is finished on the cross. Right? He finished it all. All you have to do is accept that gift of salvation one time, and you're saved forever. Amen? Now, I'm almost finished. i got to hurry up. Okay? So, do you believe that Jesus is God? Yes. Do you believe he died for your sins? Yes. Do you believe he rose from the dead? Yes. Right? And I wasn't able to question every single person, so I don't know what everyone in here believes. But here's the thing. In order to be saved, it's not that you believe Jesus is real. It's that you have all of your trust in him. Okay? If someone was having some trust in living a good life, or some trust in baptism, or some trust in going to church, that's not salvation. Salvation is when all of your faith is in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Do you understand? So I have a question. 
When should you believe this? Should you wait for 50 years? Or should you believe this right now? Right now, right? Now, last thing, okay? Very last thing. If you believe this with your heart, how do you tell Jesus that you believe? Does he have a cell phone number? Does he have a Facebook messenger? Does he have WhatsApp? How do you talk to Jesus? You want to pray. Amen? All right. So I'm going to say a prayer to Jesus. And if you believe this with your heart, you're not trusting in your own good works, but you want to trust in Jesus Christ alone, you can repeat after me, and we're going to pray to Jesus and tell him that you believe the gospel. Okay? Amen? All right, let's pray. Just repeat after me if you believe this. Uh, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. I know I deserve hell. I know I deserve hell. But I believe, but I believe you died for all my sins. You died for all my sins. And rose from the dead. And rose from the dead. Please save me. Please save me. Right now. Right now. Forever.